Ah, look at that 0.9.2 landscape. It's so beautiful. Wait. What's this? This isn't Minecraft Pocket Edition. This is Minecraft PC. Hello YouTube, this is Waterdish101, and yes, you did hear right, this is Minecraft PC being played from my phone. So, as you can see, they have everything here. I'm actually very impressed that they were able to port this. If I open my inventory, uh, you can see they have all of the tabs, and uh, I'll scroll down here. Yeah, you can see they have all of the blocks and everything from Minecraft PC. And this is just so cool. It was... Uh, Actually inspired by Pocketmine, who created a plugin called Big Brother that allows you to play Minecraft Pocket Edition servers from your PC. So Mojang took this idea and they created Minecraft Universal, which lets you play Minecraft PC from your phone. There are a few bugs though, and a bunch of crashes. Uh, as you can see, the controls are blue, and yeah, n that doesn't really affect gameplay or anything but you can't really see through them so some of your vision is decreased that way but yeah everything else works just fine as you can see there's anvils boats the uh... beacons too and the GUIs work also so yeah this is just so cool like they have colored glass it, if you've played minecraft pc it's pretty much the same thing except you might crash a bit more on this one so yeah, um, I'm going to be showing you two main things in here, the end and redstone, because those are two majorly uh, wanted features for the game. So let's just uh, go to the end here, and then I'll show you redstone after. So uh, the end, it loaded up, and it has the end background, all the end stone, and there are endermen everywhere and the obsidian towers with the crystals on them. So uh, let's try and find the ender dragon here. Uh, all right, there he is. So yeah, you could kill this guy in survival if you really wanted to, but it'd probably be harder on a little screen like this. You have to take out the ender crystals and stuff. But yeah, I don't really feel like killing that guy right now. So uh, I'm just gonna go kill myself and I should respawn at the spawn. So once I fall out of the world, then I'll just be back in the overworld and uh, respawn. It's sort of hard to tap the little button on my screen, but all right, there we go. So yeah, that was the end. It is pretty much what you'd expect the end to be like, just like the PC version. Uh, there are no crashes that I know of in the end right now, but uh, I haven't tried everything there yet, so you could test with that. And now I'm going to show you redstone. Let's just go over here for that. Alright, uh, so I'm just going to grab stuff in my inventory. Watch the hotbar though, because there is a bug that I have noticed and it might appear right here. So, uh, yeah, if you saw right there, it switched my uh, selected bar back to the repeater, and it did that for the piston also. That's just a graphical glitch though. Uh, there are many of those in the universal version, but... Um, yeah, they don't really affect any of the gameplay like the blue D-pad does. Um, and the crashes are pretty much the only thing that you have to worry about in here. So, yeah, I'm just going to show you this simple redstone contraption that pushes a piece of sand. So, yeah, there you go. It pushes the sand up and it falls. If you wanted a sand falling machine, uh, there you go. So, then I'm just going to show you the redstone repeaters now. I'm going to set them on full delay to show you that they actually work. And I'll just put another piston over here with sand on it for comparison. So uh, here we go. Press the button and as you can see the first piston fires and then the farther one does. So the repeaters do work and everything's just like the PC version. I don't think you have to worry about anything but there are crashes. So uh, if you like this, now I'm going to show you how to do this and get this on your phone. I am back now and I am on the Minecraft.net webpage. So the first thing you're going to need to do is be logged in 
and you're going to need Minecraft PC and Pocket Edition for this to work. So just go to your profile page, and I have an extension here that makes my skin 3D, but you do not need that. Just go on up to the URL bar, and enter slash universal, and then press enter. And it will say your account has now been linked with Minecraft Universal. I've already done this, so it's not going to show that. But after this, you just log into Realms onto your phone, and you can play Minecraft single player on Minecraft Universal. If you try and play Realms, it'll just be the regular 0.9.0 or whatever version you're on. And uh, you don't have to worry about Realms being messed up from this. And you can just log out of Realms once you want to play single player on 0.9.0 again. So yeah, this is only in beta, but it does not work on all computers. Like I tried it on my laptop and it didn't work. So try it on your friends' computers and just log in from there and you should be able to connect to your account. So yeah, uh, if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. I'll be doing more Minecraft Pocket Edition videos, but not on Minecraft Universal because there are just way too many crashes and I don't want to have to deal with that. So yeah, um, if this works for you, or doesn't work for you, please leave a comment. Uh, just try it on a different computer if it doesn't work on yours, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.